Oh my gosh, it's twin boys. We didn't need twin boys. We needed a girl. We got twin boys. Twin boys. We didn't need twin boys. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Hethwin and we are back to play some more of the 100 baby challenge with our matriarch, Josephine, who is currently pregnant with baby number 41, which is good because she is aging up quickly and will be an elder very soon. And we're going to have to name the next matriarch of this challenge. Now, in our last episode, we had a whole bunch of birthdays. I think everybody except the toddler, Orion, celebrated a birthday in the last episode. And we had Lola move out, who was our teenager. I think we had Terrence move out as well. I think both of the teenagers moved out, which means Josephine currently does not have a teenager in the house to help her. And she is very, very pregnant. In fact, in the third trimester, getting ready to pop soon, pregnant, with the potential for it to be twins because there are two open slots in the household. Oh, she also has to pee. Okay, but she is queued up to go pee. She has to pee and she has to sleep. Oh dear. All right, so this is how we are getting this episode off. I mean, it kind of makes sense, right? So it is afternoon. The kids have just come home from school recently. The two oldest are the first set of twins in the house, Nathaniel. Nathaniel is a creative genius. They just aged up, but he, it looks like he is ready to be a B student really soon. They need to be A students as well as have high confidence. He does have high confidence, so this is a good thing. After he eats, let's have him do his homework a little bit. And then his twin is Quinn, who is a rambunctious scamp. She is also set to get a B when she goes to school tomorrow. It is Monday, so we have quite a few days in a row of them going to school, which is good. And we can get her queued up to do her homework as well after she uses the bathroom. Then we have the lone singleton in the house, Orion, who is a toddler. He needs all of his skills to be level three, and he is getting really close, actually. He's almost there with his potty skill. And in fact, we can send him in to go potty. Let's have him do that. And then he just needs movement and imagination, but those are very close. So he is going to be celebrating a birthday today, without a doubt. And then the most recent set of twins are werewolves. <laughs> we have werewolf infant twins. We have Kane, who is very, very stinky, um, but currently Quinn is in the bath, so we can't do anything about that. And then we also have Jillian. Now, for the infants, we need three milestones in each of the categories. Kane has two fine motor, three firsts, one gross motor, and four social. So he needs a one more fine motor and a two more gross motor. And let's take a look at Jillian here. Jillian is a little bit further along, so she just needs one fine motor and one gross motor, and she'll be good to go. And then once they both have that, then we can age them up into toddlers. As I mentioned, Josephine is currently pregnant, and the next baby will be on the way very soon. We have five more days until she ages up into an elder. So if this is twins, this could very well be her last pregnancy because the oldest in the household are children right now. There is a problem with this because right now, Jillian, who is our youngest female sim, is set to be the next heir. Jillian is a werewolf. I am not continuing this with a werewolf. So we may have to figure out how to cure her of her Lycanotrophy or just maybe cheat it away because I am not having a werewolf as my matriarch. So we'll see what this currently current pregnancy looks like. Is it a single birth? Is it going to be twins? I don't know. Ranji Missy Pika is the baby donor and we'll just have to wait and find out. And Josephine has gone into labor, so we're going to have to get her off to the hospital. She's going to clean the toilet first. Get her off to the hospital to have this baby. Once again, Josephine is back where she has been 19 times before. Actually, she's had fewer pregnancies than that because she's had multiples, but she has had 19 babies. So this will be her 20th baby. The first matriarch had 21, so she's like closing in on that. Is it going to be twins? Is it going to be a boy or a girl? And it is a boy when really we needed a girl so that we don't have a werewolf. All right, let's pick a name for this baby. We are going to go with Noah Larson. 
And now the fateful moment where we see if this is... Oh my gosh, it's twin boys. We didn't need twin boys. We needed a girl. We got twin boys. Twin boys. We didn't need twin boys. All right, let's figure out this kid's name. I randomized and I got Carson. And I kind of want this kid to be named Carson Larson. So this is probably going to be Josephine's last baby. And his name is going to be Carson Larson. I love that for us. All right, so Josephine has had <laughs> twins. And they are boys, which does not help us. And conveniently, Orion has reached level three of the movement skill while Josephine was giving birth, which may mean we'll be able to age up a toddler when we get back home. Okay, we are back. We have twin infants, Carson and Noah. And I really don't know that we are going to get another baby out of Joseph. We have Vasile set up to be the next baby donor, but if we can't get Nathaniel and Quinn aged up and moved out in time, there's not going to be another pregnancy. Josephine only has five days left, so this might be it, which means she will also have had 21 babies. And oh, we do need to update our baby count. We are now up to 42 babies in the 100 baby challenge. So we'll just have to see how all of this goes. Orion just needs a little bit more imagination skill. So let's have him come and play with a toy to get that taken care of. And then I think the older two we should get off to bed because they have school in the morning and getting them A's isn't going to happen tomorrow. I don't think we can do this. I don't think Josephine is going to have another baby. I think she's at the limit. I, I don't think we can get them aged up into teenagers and then have their teenage requirements met and moved out in time. Okay, Orion has reached imagination level three. Let's get Josephine up and I'm gonna age him up like right now since he has all of his skills. Might as well get him aged up so that he can go to school in the morning. We have a cake. All right, Orion is now a child and as we do, we will use the random number generator to determine his childhood aspiration. So generating between one and eight, we got a five, which is playtime captain. And then we're going to randomize three times to find out his trait. One, two, three. He loves the outdoors. Actually, that, that pairing kind of works for him. And he is also going to need a makeover before he starts school in the morning. Okay, so this is Orion with his makeover. Um, he aged up with freckles, and I thought that was, like, really, really cute. So I kept that. I also really like his eyes. Like, I I don't know. I think he looks super cute. Uh, so this is his everyday outfit, his formal wear, his athletic wear, his sleep wear, his party wear, his swim wear, hot weather, and cold weather wear. And he is all ready to go and to start school. And it is one o'clock in the morning and we have a screaming twin babies. We have a screaming infant and Josephine is trying to get Kane distinct. This is the way it, it's going to go. She's not going to get it an easy time as things kind of wrap up for her here. Okay, come and put Kane down here and then you need to deal with these newborns in here. Do some super efficient newborn care. That's not putting Kane down where I told you to put Kane down. I didn't tell you to put him there. Kane has unlocked the toe and mouth milestone. We love this for him, which is a fine motor, and he did need that. And let's have Josephine come and do some tummy time with him and see if we can get some gross motor skills happening for him. It's such hard work being a little infant and trying to get my gross motor skills up. It's so hard. He is certainly putting in all of the effort. Poor little guy. Oh no, Orion isn't going to go to school today, so he's going to be home. But that actually might be okay, because we could work on getting, like, his skills and stuff done and ready so that he has all of his skills that he needs. So maybe we'll have him come and play chess, because that's easy, and it's here, and why not? Okay, Kane has unlocked the roll over to back milestone, so he just needs one more gross motor, and he'll be good to go. Jillian is, she's an intense infant, so she really does, like, take a lot of uh, care and attention. So let's get Josephine tending to her, and then I think some tummy time for her is in order as well. I would like to see these two become toddlers today, 
since the newborns will be aging up later this evening in game. And the older set of twins are off to school. Orion is over here playing some chess to get his thinking skill up because he will need a skill to be level three. It also is helping him get his logic skill up, which when he becomes a teenager will be really useful for him too. And we'll have him do his homework and all of that. Jillian has rolled over onto her tummy. So she just needs one more fine motor and she'll be good to age up. So Josephine, you should come and put her on her playmat so she can play with her toys and hopefully get that last fine motor skill that she needs. Josephine has been the first matriarch that we have played with infants since they were introduced into the game. And not gonna lie, it has been a challenge. Oh, 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 we are getting a milestone with Jillian. Oh, first word! She unlocked her first word! That's because there's two of them and they're in the same room and so it makes their social skill and their social milestones go up faster. So it really like is beneficial having multiple infants in the same room if you have multiple infants to help get those milestones up faster. Wait, I see a toe in a mouth. Toe in mouth milestone for Jillian. And that means that she has all of her milestones so really, we're just waiting for Kane to catch up with his milestones. He is sleeping. He's very sleepy. He's also very hungry. So he needs to have some needs taken care of before we can do that. But that should be coming later on in today's episode. Okay, Nathaniel and Quinn have come home from school. They are now both B students. So I think we'll have them get started on their homework. Like right off the bat, they can do homework and extra credit work. They need some fun, but they're going to do their homework first. And then maybe when they're done with that, they can watch TV or something to get their fun up. Oh, Kane also unlocked the first word milestone. Not the milestone we need from him, but it's a start. All right, tummy time with Kane. Hopefully we can get that last gross motor milestone and then we can get the two infants aged up into toddlers. Oh, we got it. We got it. We have a sparkly, glowy infant. He has rolled over onto his tummy. And that is all of his milestones. So we need to get them sorted out. Oh, Josephine needs to get like everybody sorted out. We need some teenagers in the house. You two hurry up, do better in school. We need you to be teenagers so you can help. Poor Josephine is hungry and tired. And she's like, she definitely though needs to get these infants sorted because Having them be toddlers will be slightly easier, especially since I know Noah and Carson are going to age up very soon. All right, so we've given a bath to Jillian, and she is very angry because she's hungry, but we're just going to age her up anyway, and then she can get food on her own because we've got food in the fridge. She can age up, and the spaghetti will be ready for her. If Josephine hurries up and ages her up, come on, Josephine, age her up. Or feed her first. I mean that, okay, sure, why not? All right, let's get her candles blown out and aged up into a toddler and then we can get Kane aged up and into a toddler and then newborns will be not too long after. All right, so Jillian was an intense infant. Um, She's gonna age up with communication being level two. So that's good, that's a good, good start on her toddler skills. So we're gonna randomize her trait three times. One, two, three. And she is going to be a silly toddler, which is better than an intense infant. So we'll take this. And then we're going to get Kane aged up as well. Oh, there's so much crying happening right now. It's it's just like crazy in here. These two are screaming. Josephine's like on a mission. We're going to get the infants done until the next set of infants comes along. It's a little nuts in this house right now. Okay, Kane has aged up. Oh, no. He's got the unhappy infant trait. Oh dear. Kane had an unfortunate start to life. As a result, expect him to be a little more headstrong and defiant. Oh no, that's not the best choice for him. Oh crap. All right, so let's randomize his traits. One, two, three. He is inquisitive. So I was a little afraid we were going to end up with fussy with him, but we'll take inquisitive. And as absolutely adorable as Jillian is over here in her green shirt, pink diaper, and blue boots. 
Uh, we need to give them makeovers. And yeah, Nathaniel can like pranks. I don't know what he's doing. He's pranking somebody, but okay. Uh, let's get these to a bit of a makeover and we can take a closer look at what they look like especially Jillian since she's maybe our heir toddlers have their makeover so this is Jillian who is potentially going to be the heir this is her everyday outfit her formal wear sleepwear party wear swimwear hot weather and cold weather wear and then we have Kane, who is inquisitive. Um, this is what he looks like. They look a lot alike as toddlers. Um, that'll probably change as they age, obviously. Um, but this is his everyday, his formal, his sleepwear, his party wear, his swimwear, his hot weather, and his cold weather wear. And so they are all aged up and ready to start getting their skills. We are on ready for the latest set of twins to become infants. No, not really. We're never ready for infants. Let's be honest. We're never ready for infants. Oh, and right off the bat, Kane is pooping his pants. Of course he is. And now it's time for the latest set of twins to age up, but we're gonna actually let Josephine get a little something to eat and sleep a little bit before they age up. We're gonna just kind of take this moment to not have infants and do that oh my gosh now noah's very hungry and is going to be taken away okay maybe you need to deal with that before you eat go deal with this before you eat okay jillian has unlocked a quirk she loves sounds so i guess that isn't surprising for an intense infant and Jillian is in here playing in the toilet, and she also loves water. So we're going to have to watch the toilets with this one, apparently. Sounds and playing in water. She's a handful, and this could be the air. Okay, Kane has a good appetite. I don't know what he's eating. What are you eating? He found some spaghetti. Okay, good for him. He needed to eat, so he took it upon himself. He's got a good appetite. Good job, Kane. We've made it to morning. Josephine is waking up once again to the sound of screaming newborns, both of whom are ready to age up into infants. So I think we will age them up into infants, get them sorted out and made over, and probably wrap up this episode here for today. I think, though, that... So Nathaniel and Quinn will be going off to school. I don't know that they're going to come home with A's, though, because they just became B students. It would be great if they did, but I don't know that that's going to happen. All right, Noah has aged up into an infant. We're going to randomize his infant trait three times. One, two, three. He is sunny. All right, that's better than intense. We will take it. And then let's also get Carson aged up as well. And randomizing his infant trait three times. One, two, three. He is sensitive. So we have sunny and sensitive. And makeovers are in order. So we'll get that sorted out. They've both unlocked the smile milestone, which they always do when they age up. Oh, and we also now have Orion saying that last recess, no one wanted to play with me. I just climbed around on my own. If that happens again, what should I do? And she's going to tell him to ask the other kids if you can join in. He's She's going to want him to take that initiative. All right, let's get the infants made over. And all right, the infants have had their makeover. They have different skin tones, but they both have blonde hair, which I find to be really interesting. So Ranji Missy Pega was their baby donor. Um, so this is Noah. This is his everyday. And then I'm just going to show you his sleepwear because you're not going to see the rest of them. They're there, but we're not going to see them. So those are his two outfits. And then this is a Carson. This is his everyday and then his sleepwear. So they are aged up and we've got infants on our hands once again. And I, the older kids are going to head off to school pretty soon here. A lot of birthdays have happened. So Jillian and Kane became toddlers and then Noah and Carson were born and then now they are infants and then Orion also became a child. I think that if not when they go to school on Wednesday then on Thursday Quinn and Nathaniel will be aging up into teenagers. I don't think we're gonna get another pregnancy in for Josephine. Her birthday is on Saturday 
I really don't foresee us getting Nathaniel and Quinn aged up and moved out before Saturday. I just don't think that there is enough time to do it. So with that, we're going to end this episode here. Right now, the, according to the rules, it's the youngest female child, and that is Jillian. Jillian is a werewolf, and that is problematic because we don't really want to go forward with a cult as our matriarch. That's not what this challenge is. So we're kind of in a pinch here with that. Is she going to be the heir? The next oldest is Quinn, who is almost a teenager. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do we go with Quinn, who is the youngest non-occult, or do we stick with Jillian? I can get rid of her werewolf trait because I think that's going to have to happen. Like, we really, I can't. I'm not having a whole bunch of werewolves. I'm not doing it. I don't find that gameplay all that enjoyable. So we're not going to do it. They're really, really difficult to handle and maintain. And trying to do a 100 baby challenge with a werewolf matriarch, I'm not signing up for that. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below what we should do. And yeah, we're going to end stuff there and kind of let that ruminate and we can mull all of that over in our head. But thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!